Resize. Here you can modify the highlighted wall using the laser or the keypad. If your dimensions are getting larger, use the red icon to specify which direction you want the distance to go. Use the lock to keep the exact room shape or to modify it. As shown, it will also adjust parallel walls. Reopen to draw. If you would like to modify an already closed shape, use Reopen to draw. Tap on the red X to delete any walls you want to remove. Then select Continue and you will be put into free draw mode. Modify as needed. Resize by drag and creating arcs. You can go into resize by drag mode if you would like to modify walls by dragging them. Tap resize by drag, now green icons will appear. Use the green arrows to adjust wall dimensions and the circles to adjust angles. On the lower right, you have the arc icon. Use the arc icon to create a curved wall. Tap on the icon to enable or disable the mode. You can use a dimension line to have a reference when dragging your wall. Refer to dimension line video for more information. In this mode, you can tap from room to room and manually drag as long as you're in this mode. You can also tap and move the room labels. Hit done when you're finished to exit this mode. Divide floor. There are times when more than one product is going to be installed into one room. For example, we can have an entrance here where the majority of the living room will get carpet and around the door we will put some tile. Tap on divide floor. Then sketch as you would in free draw to separate areas within a room. Tap done to exit this mode. If you want to delete a divider, tap and drag it outside of the room. Split wall. Similar to divide floor, splitting a wall will allow for you to differentiate wall products. For example, we only want a quarter round on our carpet area. How to add products is shown in another video. Edit wall. This tool is used for others who would like to apply products to a wall such as tile. Tap on resize and select edit wall. The rectangle to the right represents the walls. Find the appropriate wall and drag your finger to create stacks. Use the horizontal icon to switch direction of lines being added. Other wall modifications can be made when your walls are visible. Tap Done and then select Views and View Options. Enable the wall to turn on the walls when you select a room. Other view options are explained in Settings. Now that we have our walls, tap on a room and your walls will appear. To adjust it, tap and move as needed. To remove a stack, tap and drag it out of the room. If you want to copy this profile to another wall, tap on the wall and use Copy Profile. Now tap on another wall and use Apply Profile to use it on a selected wall or apply it to all walls in this room by using Apply All. Flip Room When working in areas with mirrored rooms, you can copy and paste rooms, then flip them to adjust layout. How to copy and paste is shown in the upcoming clip. To use the flip tool, select whether you want to flip your room vertically or horizontally, as shown.